What up, Twitch? How you doing? We decided to uh, bring the meteorology segment to Twitch today. So, there you go. The Smash News Network least busted name in news. <laughs> Showing the jet stream of the eastern world. Yeah, there you go, the jet streams. There's really two of them. You know, you've got the northern hemisphere jet stream, and you've got the southern hemisphere jet stream. They both blow west to east most of the time. We got some very cold air here swirling around southern Australia as winter approaches. Here are the surface winds of the east side of planet Earth. Yes. Surface winds. And there are the surface winds of the western world. We've got some high winds around Texas, it looks like. In any case, here are the jet streams. You can see some cold air being thrust down into the center of the U.S. It's causing some heavy rains. We'll get to it. First, your weather.gov map. You can see, indeed, a bunch of flood watches and warnings, especially in Oklahoma, also in Missouri, Arkansas, Kansas, and a little bit in Texas. Floods continue in the northern plains as well, delaying planting. It's suboptimal. High surf in Hawaii, though. Let's continue on to look at this insane lightning. If you are if you are in Oklahoma, chances are you heard some lightning in the past few hours. Pretty incredible lightning display there from the NASA Goes Lightning Mapper. Let's take a look at a real-time lightning map since we're streaming live. This is at blitzotung.org's lightningmaps.org site. Next time you hear thunder, check it out. Yowzers! We've got some thunder rolling in. Some lightning south of St. Louis as well. Also some cells in Texas and a lone lightning strike in Kentucky. Anyway, that's your real-time lightning map. Next time, Again, next time you hear thunder, check it out, lightningmaps.org. It could save your bacon. Don't go out in a severe thunderstorm. Hide. Because your likelihood of surviving being struck by lightning is kind of low. And if you're wondering if lightning can strike twice in the same place, the answer is absolutely. Don't assume it's not going to strike the same place. There could be some kind of a ground conductor that's causing lightning to strike in that location. Don't assume it will not strike twice in the same spot. So here's the water vapor scenario over the South Pacific, one of the most desolate portions of the world. Interesting rotational system here to the uh, west of Hawaii. It's a, it's a low pressure surrounded by a bunch of dry, massive air constraining it. A bunch of hot ocean water there and some convective forces happening. Certainly, you can see some cloud nucleation happening in that area. It's an interesting portion of the planet at the moment. And since our weather comes from the west, most of the time, look at all that moisture in Texas and Oklahoma, yowzers. Rapid cloud nucleation happening there. And I figured I just would show some, uh, some features that we've never shown before on the channel. So it's quite nice here. Um, on windy.com, you've got all kinds of different funky layers that you can view. There's a free mobile app you can download as well. The soil moisture is an interesting feature there. You can also show drought intensity, moisture anomaly, and so on. You can see all that moisture in the northern plains caused by crazy snowstorms very late in the season. Anyway, windy.com, again, check it out. It's got a great mobile app. We're not paid to say that. And let's see if we can bring up a forecast model. I'm going to bring up a 72-hour forecast model here for the pressure and precipitation across the U.S. It was not available when we did show prep. We usually have those ready. But since we're streaming live, here you go. There's your GFS 72-hour pressure and precipitation forecast. Some additional snow forecasted here for Idaho and Montana and Wyoming and Colorado and Washington and Oregon and some in California. 
Yeah, it's still snowing in those locations. Well into May. Some severe weather headed for the mid-Atlantic states as well. Some heavy rains there forecasted, perhaps some severe thunderstorms. Again, that's your 72-hour GFS pressure and precipitation forecast for the lower 48. Number one, I order you to take a number two on Big Tech and engage at smashamash.com. Patreon still exists. Give Smash staff a raise by becoming a patron or a member of the Smash team. Welcome to the Neo Renaissance. You can even find a link to our Discord chat there. A permanent invite link. You need, a dis you need a, in an invite link to join a Discord chat. And there's a permanent link there. You can also find links to the YouTube channel, Twitter, and so on. Answer our polls. We've got a community poll on YouTube. We've got an April 30th poll with only one day left on Twitter. We want to know if you think Twitter's fixed. Do you think Elon Musk is your savior? I, I don't know why. It's ridiculous. Anyway, here's the U.S. Doppler radar map. We'll briefly zoom out here to show all 50 states. Here is the lower 48. And we typically put these videos up as BitChute exclusives as a recorded video. Today we decided to put up a space weather video on BitChute and stream this one live. Here's the shortwave radiation map showing clouds and fog at nighttime. And here is the water vapor map. So these systems here not getting very much of a pulse. This dry mass of air not really moving, it's just kind of hanging out. And it may cause a little bit of loitering of this low. That is a relative low. And clear skies over the Gulf of Mexico at the moment. A high pressure environment there. Here's your recap. US Doppler radar map showing Vertical motion of water droplets in the air column. Heavy precipitation here over most of Missouri. Moving into Illinois, Indiana. Nashville, it looks like you might be missed by that. It's going to be close. There is the shortwave radiation map, clouds and fog. And there's the recap of the water vapor map. Thanks for tuning in, folks, to our lovely Twitch channel. Again, make sure you view us on YouTube. Visit our links, support the channel, host the content if you're a larger Twitch network. Thanks for tuning into the Smash News Network, these busted name and news. As I sign off, may that terrestrial wind be at your back. <laughs>